setting up camp. We were on the river for a little bit. Made it to the uh, first part of the Big Lakes for Tippy Dam. Uh, we're on an island, pretty cool. We got our stuff. Our canoes are just on the ridge over there on the shore that we pulled up on. Uh, it is pretty packed. Uh, we came up on the ridge pretty much because we were going to be right on top of other people. Probably can't see, see the video, maybe you can, but there are campsites scattered throughout the other shore too. But, you know, beautiful weather. Who wouldn't want to be out here? Michigan at its finest. Michigan Adventure Life. <laughs> they said the thing! They said the thing in the thing! They said it! They said it! kebab and roasting skewers in water before cooking over an open flame to prevent ignition. Uh, so they're setting up their tent with their air mattress and stuff. We, uh, we might try to barter our way into this tent. But we're going to get up, get, get setting up, get some dinner going, build a fire pit. We got our fire going. We got some wood. Some more wood. Uh, we're gonna just let it burn for a while, get some good coals, and we're gonna have some kebabs, uh, wrapped in bacon, and then probably wrapped in a little more bacon. We have a lot of bacon. Uh, there's like three pigs left. But you, you know, it's, uh, it's a pretty great problem to have. So I think we're, it's, uh, Government Island. I believe is the name of the island we're on. In the Reservoir Lake above Tippy Dam, and we're going to be heading that direction when we leave tomorrow. Now the only way to start cooking kebabs <laughs> is with a solid layer of butter. It's true. Slice the bacon in the like... Halves? I mean, like... No, two... I'd rather fold it on. Oh, we'll you're gonna... it Big tip. You are not stronger than fire. Use tools and gloves when handling food over a campfire. We're finishing up the last of the kebabs. We got Dick man in the uh, meat hook. The meat hook. What's up? Uh, working out tremendously. And Sam's got just a meat meat kebab. It's actually my meat kebab. What's the plan, my man? Gonna cook some meat kebabs, go to bed, wake up early, canoe more. Yep. Make it to the Tippy Dam. Tippy Dam. Tippy Dam. Tippy Dam. Maybe do some fishing. Yes. Yeah, that's the benefit of if we do really well with everything timing wise tomorrow morning, we can do some fishing. Tom? You know, if you had a meat hook, you could just... My meat's not even warm enough to burn my fingers. Oh, well. It's really bothering me. Just need a little more fire to go with the fire. We had some kebabs. They were really good. Yeah, they were delicious. Uh, we ended up not setting up the other tents because uh, Tom and Jess brought such a huge, great tent. It's wonderful. Oh, my God. It's so great. Like, uh... You know, we never thought about the idea of, you know, big cabin tent, just everybody sleeping in it. So, you know, that could have saved us some weight in the long run. And some space. It makes takedown easier tomorrow, so we can hopefully get some fishing time in. You know, we're going to bed a little earlier, we're all sleeping together, and dogs will like it. Yep. Hopefully we'll get some uh, bites tomorrow. Yeah, uh, food was good. We don't know what we're doing for breakfast. We're just going to try and pack up early tomorrow. We'll see you in the morning. Uh, I'm going to put the fire out now. Yep. Night, guys. Night. Dick tip. Cover hot spots to prevent blisters and make sure to pad before you apply athletic tape. We, uh, we're packing it up a little early, you know, we're trying to hit the river in time or hit the lake in time to do some fishing. Just putting athletic tape over people's boo boos, you know, their blisters and stuff from paddling a bunch yesterday. But knowing what I know about canoeing now, that's about as much as I'd want to paddle in a day. That was a very, very nice amount. That was a very reasonable day. You know, long paddle, but not too long. 
Not bad at all. Should you restring the uh, reel? Because uh, we got it caught in a bush while canoeing. Uh, so yeah, just restringing it, taking almost. the last bit of it, almost done. So Go how do you restring up. it? Do you tie it to the existing line, or you take all the old line off? Take all the you old take line. Take all off. the old line off. Exactly. <laughs> well, you can use the old line as a backer. What just don't tie to it. Yeah. yeah, just don't tie to it. We're just getting ready to take off. Getting a little drinky poo in. Getting loose. Getting loosey goosey. Tom's Tom, just I getting his fly uh, rod ready. I think we're uh, doing a photo here. We're ready. The dogs are playing. Oh, you just want help? Want some too? Yes. <laughs> Hey there, y'all. Let's commence the jiggling. Hey, we're going to line up a group photo. Let's line up a group photo. All right. We need to go this way. Oh, you're fine if you stay right there. So we're finally hitting the river. Good to see how it goes. Oh, you got it. You don't need Oh, and we're floating. Good to go. We're all just getting ready here so I can give it a nice little paddle. We got Dick and Sam ready to go, Team High and Dry. Team High and Dry! Still maintaining the record. Kara, no. Kara, stop being ridiculous. Kara, stop. Sit down. Did we, re we didn't readjust this. Hooray! Okay, are we there? <laughs> <laughs> we just live on Government Island now. We are, but we want to go left to follow the right bank. We want to go this way. We're going this way. You know, it's Michigan. You gotta go left to go right in Michigan. It's a great morning for a paddle though. Even if we're hitting the water two hours late. Paddling into a boat launch in a canoe, be extra aware of motorboats coming in at full speed. They may not notice you. We made it to the dam. There it is. Boat launch is over there, just to the right. Sam, what do you think? I think we're gonna run into these trees. Alright, well, hit it. we hit it. Here we go, starting our final approach at the canoe launch by Tippy Dam. Oh, Kara's excited to get out of the boat. I think everyone's excited to get out of the boats. It's been a great paddle, but we didn't put in enough the first day, and we've had to make up for it every other day since. It's just been terrible. But it's fine. We just haven't gotten enough fishing in, you know, when that's what we came out here to do. Well, we made it. Yep. We're on dry land. Everybody here. Tom and Jessica about to pull in. John, how you doing? Okay, here we go. How was your trip? How you feeling today, Jess? Better than yesterday? Mildly. Do you want a hand? Uh, oh. Oh. Hey, uh, no, no, we're not gonna keep going. Now we're just gonna pour it as you keep going, guys. Five How's more days. Stuff? Five more days. Five more days. Five more days. Other side of the dam. No problem. Absolutely no problem. Jessica no looks mortified even at the joke. <laughs> even at the joke. How long, is, the it, joke how the long is it to Huron from here? We gotta go up to Michigan and then up and around, right? Yeah, it's not yeah. bad. Okay. Big tip. Pulling your car down to the boat launch to unload your gear makes it faster and easier. 
and shouldn't be a problem for other people at the boat launch. Everybody's all loaded up. Getting ready to go. What do you think of that canoe trip, Drew? Oh, I think it's probably the best canoe trip so far. Yeah? We're on schedule. We're going to be out of here before the rain starts at 1. Everyone's getting packed up. We're just trying to get out of here so we can stop bothering this family. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. Great trip. So that's the end of our trip. It was a good trip. Good paddle. Good Great paddle. day. Didn't get any of that weather they said we were going to be getting. But it was actually really nice weather. Uh, the wind at the end and the lakes helped us, which was nice. Tom and Jessica held up great. Dick and Sam did good as always. Wonderful. Uh, you know, get a whole load of dick tips. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, and if you like this video or if you didn't, you know, click yep. the subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Uh, and my adventure life. Michigan adventure life.